today I'm really excited because I'm going to be fishing with some good pals on one of my favourite rivers in the world, the River Tweed, just over the border in Scotland. And the reason I'm so excited is because if I had to choose one week in the year to fish, it would be this one, the first week in October. This place is where I spend every spare minute I can. My country retreat, if you like. It's an old gardener's cottage and it's part of the Duke of Northumberland's estate at a place called Dryborough. And what makes it so special is that it's within, well, casting distance, I guess you call it, of the River Tweed. Okay. Come on, boys, steady now. There you go, boys. Having this place is really like leading a sort of double life. Back south, you've got work, family, the hubbub, the business end, you know, you've got to be on your toes all the time. Here, it's just me and the boys. You can relax. If you want a cup of tea, you make a cup of tea. If you want to go, you go. It's just heaven. It's just a release from the sort of chains of modern life. Now I'm due to start fishing tomorrow. And what makes this time of year so special is that it's when the salmon are returning back home to spawn. And usually the river levels are at their optimum. I'm booked to fish at a stretch called Tweed Mill, a cracking part of the river with a well-deserved reputation. All the weather forecasts I've seen have been spot on. However, as I got an early night expecting an action-packed day's fishing, one of the gillies rings me to say there's been an unexpected dump of rain up on the hills, and it's caught everybody by surprise, weathermen included. And so what should have been a red-letter day in terms of fishing may now turn out to be more of a sodden envelope. Oh, I, I tell you, you know, you look at the forecast, you look at the five-day, you look at the three-day, whatever. No sign of any... The next morning, I can see that the river is definitely up. This is bad news because A, on a rising water, salmon never seem to be up for it. No one knows exactly why. And B, if the water's coloured, even if they were up for it, it's difficult for them to see the fly unless it's put right in front of them. However, it's fishing we're talking about, so you never know, and undaunted, once the boys, Connor and the aptly named Tweed have had their breakfast, I decide to head off. My gilly for the morning is Doogie Tate. I've known Doogie for years and he's not only a top gilly, he's a smashing bloke as well. Not that I'd ever tell him that to his face. The curmudgeonly old so-and-so would be absolutely unbearable. You can see a wee, wee way down there, but what, six inches? If there's fish here, we've got a good chance of getting them. Caught them in a worse than this, but... Come on, go on back, go back. <laughs> no, stay there. You can't come. This is me only, no dogs. <laughs> That's the thing about this autumn fishing, isn't it? I mean, if you were talking to anybody around the fishing circle around the world, you say, fish in the tweed first week in October. They give the right arm to come and do it, and then when you get it, always something seems to go wrong, for me at least. <laughs> we might just be lucky, mightn't we? Well, if, you got, if you're gonna get them, you'll get them up this edge, likely. Just come and again, right? Con, go back! What's he doing? He looks like... Con, go back! The young dog doesn't bother. No, he doesn't. It's... Con is just getting it. As he gets older, he just gets a bit more cantankerous. He thinks he knows better than everybody else. He tends to do the drives at the shoot on his own now. <laughs> Some of the boys think I call him, come back, you bugger. No, it's funny, they get very willful, don't they, at certain stages in their life. And he's in one of his willful stages. I know best, I can do that. But isn't it always the same? 
early in the season and in the middle of the summer we're praying for water and then just recently when we get it we get so much of it we could do without it and the trouble is it's prime now it doesn't take much to set it away again yeah, aye. that's the trouble yeah it's grounding very quickly now actually Amazing what a couple of inches it is, do it? Yep. <laughs> you love it when it all goes wrong, don't you? I hate you. <laughs> it's going to be hard work this morning, Doogie. Uh, the thing is, you can this, you know. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. wanted that. Wow. Do you see him here? Mm -hmm. Just as I was on the strip. This is where the fun comes in, right? Uh, he likes to be airborne, anyhow. What's the plan then, Doug? Uh, you'll just have to get him onto a shorter line, right? <laughs> He's not happy. He's not at all, is he? I wouldn't be either. Oh yeah, okay. I think he's seen you, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh he's off again. Oh, gee, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell's going on with that fish? <laughs> what are you doing, Ray? What, what am I doing? It's what he's doing that's worrying me. Right, right, what a boy. They fight, don't they, man? Through here, through here. Well, the line's wrapped around him, that's He's wrapped around it, yeah. Yes! Well done, Dig. Oh, nice fish. Oh, big hen. Steady, darling, steady, steady. Beautiful autumn fish. Look at that. What would you say, Doogie? Gear 10, maybe. Took a schnelder on a sunk line in difficult conditions. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. And away. We'll just give her a wee bit. She's just letting a little bit of that lactic acid out of its gills. It's a hen fish. You can see at the front where the mouth is. There's not the characteristic type of a, of a male. And I would say this fish has probably been in 10 days fortnight. Aye, probably a good fortnight. Really. Probably a good fortnight, but they may colour up in the estuary. But uh, she's taken on a wee bit of colour now, getting towards her spawning livery. But I tell you, on a morning like this morning, very, very welcome. She's away. Yeah. Traditional handshake. Well done. The England-Scotland divide is over for just a few seconds. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs>